bagpipes and uh, this hornpipe here, which I made in 1979. I've been playing it ever since. That's on the Sheila and the Gig album, which was released in 1985. And um, throughout uh, Europe, there are versions of hornpipes. There's uh, the Basque Alboca, there's the Pinay or Trump de Course in France, there's the Zayeka from Russia, and in um, Wales, this is called Pibcorn. In Irish Gaelic, it was called Pibcorn, and in English, Hornpipe. Um, there's a Viking grave with a Pibcorn in it, uh, dated about a thousand years ago, but it doesn't have this part, which is called the wind cap. So the main body of it is made out of elder, which has a soft central pith, you poke that out. There's an elder reed, use a horn resonator and a horn wind cap, which later became the wind cap on the chrome horn, which is another Renaissance instrument that basically models this by having a bent uh, wooden piece in the letter J. It's kind of a much more stylized bent horn pipe. So chrome horn means crooked pipe in German. Anyway, um, this is uh, uh, just a warm up and then I'll do uh, Drive the World Before Me, which is a Welsh jig. Go to Perry, Johnny, bring her fae, the border, Yancey, Bonnie, Lassie, let the game now, father, Ing Sloan's with tiny up, lovely treasure, but them will cannon battle, swords will measure. Later on in the 19th century, the horn pipe became which is a dotted eighth followed by a sixteenth. So, horn pipe rhythms changed over time. So a uh, hornpipe rhythm would be uh, go to Barry Johnny. <laughs> Now uh, on to the bagpipes. This is the Gaita Gallega from Northwest Spain, and it's played by the Galician people, and also next door in Asturias, which is a another uh, province of Spain in the northwestern part of the country.
this is the uh, Renaissance bagpipe par excellence. It was played from the uh, Netherlands, Holland, uh, in the western part of Europe, all the way through the German states and out into uh, Vienna, Austria, where there's one original one in the uh, art museum in Vienna. Um, this is called Dodelsack in Dutch, and um, in German it's called Sack Pfeife or Dodelsack. And this is actually the medium size out of the six pipes depicted by Michael Pretorius in Syntagma Musicum. This is the Schaefer Pfeife, the shepherd's pipe. So the parts are the Pfeife, which plays the melody, the chanter, we call it in English. The uh, larger drone is called the Grosser Hummel, and the smaller drone is called the Hummelschen. Both of these mean the big B and the little B. The uh, bag is called the Lufsack, air bag. And then um, inside each one of these is what in German is known as a Rohrblatt, which is to say a reed. And there's double reed, there's a double reed here in the chanter, and in the drones are single reeds. Now, um, let's see if we can knock out a tune here, or two or three. First one up, Muckle Stout, Big Beer, for Flanders. And thank you, Victor Nearings of Brussels, Belgium, for your beautiful Flemish pipe, which I've enjoyed every year since 1978. Thank you.